think that sure. day I was probably good enough. All right. <laughs> so it is 6.01 on November 3rd, 2021, and we are here with the Goffstown Economic Development Council. Um, so we're going to start with the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. I just want to do a cheerleading challenge. Yeah, it's like, it's like middle school. I think I did that once and I think I messed it up. <laughs> I'm American. Uh, we're going to do roll calls. So we'll start with Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie Gavin, member. All right, Joanne. Oh, actually, I'm vice, I'm vice chair. Vice I keep chair. forgetting that. You're vice still a chair. member, though. I, mean, I am still a member. Okay, <laughs> vice chair. Joanne. Jo uh, Joanne Duffy, planning and economic development director. All right. Uh, Dick's not here. Uh, Chet. Chet Bowen, select board rep. All right. Jonathan. John Appley, member. Ellen. Ellen from Akowitz, member. Jeremy. Jeremy Jones, member. All right. So. How's everybody doing this evening? Very good, thank Very you. Very good, excellent. All right, so uh, I'm going to look at first at the approval of uh, the meeting on 10-6. I'm going to abstain because I was absent for that meeting. So do we have a motion to approve or amend anything from that meeting? I'll move to approve it. Okay. Uh, but I have a question on it. Second. Okay. It doesn't say I was present, but I'm part of the meeting. So. You, did you submit? You submitted a, a note, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, that's, that's what it was. Clear. Okay. Yeah. Thank yeah. you. I was say you submitted about the yeah. Okay. But Thank we you. We relayed your comments. Right. Thank you. All right. So we have so, a second. Hold on, rewind. Just a, a point of order. So that means that you probably shouldn't make the motion. So I'll go ahead and make the motion to approve. Okay. okay. Right. That's perfect. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and I'll second, second. second. All, All right. Second. So we'll call roll again. Jeremy. Uh, abstain. All right. Ellen. Abstain. Jonathan. Yes. Chet? Yes. Joanne? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. All right. I believe, so it's, I think it's four out of six. Is that considered, can we? Yeah, if the yes. abstentions don't count okay. against it, All so right. that's fine. All right. That's rule eight, section B, number one, <laughs> A, right? Okay. The book's yeah. <laughs> The book's yeah. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Motion approved. Okay, so economic uh, revitalization zone tax credits. So we're going to review the existing designated areas. Okay, so there were questions at the last meeting about um, the differences between 2016 and 2021 because some of the lots were missing from the 2021 compared to the 2016. So I asked the assessor and he said, I'll prepare this. So this is actually his work. Um, and what he, the way he explained it to me was there were, um, there were some separations as far as subdivisions or, or lot line adjustments. Some land went into current use that hadn't been. Um, so there were many changes from 2016 to now, but the same districts are still in place. So the question for you all is, would you like to extend those districts for another five years to see what happens as far as development goes. I, uh, for me personally, I don't see anything why we see any reason why we wouldn't want to do that. Um, I think as a council, I think that would be not smart on our part to <laughs> say no, let's not extend. So I think right. another five years would be. No, do you want to make a motion? We need a motion for that. I'll make Bonnie, a, Bonnie, a you're motion my motion lady. I love great. it. <laughs> so we have a second for that motion. <laughs> I'll make the motion that we keep the districts as they have been presented, according to the assessor's office. For five years. For five, five years. years. We have a second. I'll second. All right. Just an FYI, this this recommendation then goes to the state, and mm -hmm. the state has final approval. Okay, so, great. Just so you know. Do we have time for discussion on this, or do we want to discuss anything else? Anything else? Anybody? Any questions? Anybody? Questions or anything like that? All right. All right. Yeah. All in favor? All in favor? All in favor? Aye. Aye. I will do that. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, you missed one. You know, it's like you're back in order here. Okay. <laughs> So Gentle Slopes Industrial Park? Is this part of the uh, yes. one? Okay, but I know yeah. Ellen had a question about bench, benchmark site one, right? Well, I just wanted to give an update. Okay. Okay, um, I want to thank, Grant, I want you all to be aware 
uh, Adam Jacobs from DPW has been very, very helpful and really gone out of his way to help me. Um, the quilt, Night Owl Quilting, mm -hmm. uh, had spoken with me because I stopped in from my rollers in Main Street, okay, which has approved the funds to put a bench in front of them. But I don't, we don't do anything without going through the channels. Yeah. And it's a, there's a difficulty putting a bench in front of them mm -hmm. that is the same as, you know, all the other ones in town because there's a, an ADA ramp and you have to be 45 or 48 inches above that around it. Mm -hmm. So it gets too close. So I'm working with them, but um, to see if we can get a smaller one, narrower one, maybe move it down further. Because there's already a bench in front of Putnam's. Mm -hmm. The other thought was to put one across the street from Night Owl where there's that, that little planting area and bricks, but part of that belongs to Gordon Burns. And other so I'm working with that, but there's, uh, we're trying to get something there for um, the Night Owl Company because they don't have the parking in front. So the people, the, the people who come in get dropped off. Mm -hmm. and. <laughs> It would just be nice if there was something they could put their things on and, yeah. and that. So I'm working with them and with Adam, and I just want to let you know he's been absolutely awesome. Yeah. And Main Street has approved uh, the money to yeah, do it. Perfect. Great. Can yeah, you move great. that bench down in front of like State Farm, where they are? Well, that's what I have to ask about. Okay, because uh, that I'm, would I'm make sense. Yeah. Okay. I don't know because you required a certain amount of footage for the sidewalk. Right. Yes. That's why some businesses can't leave their door open. Uh, uh, into a sidewalk because it yeah. inhibits the requirements. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my so, question originally was I don't think that sidewalk's wide enough to have it. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, okay. So I'm working with them. Uh, the only other thought was maybe work with them and get a bench that they uh, could possibly bring in each night. Mm -hmm. oh. Okay. Maybe something. I just wanted to update you mm -hmm. on that was, it. Well, that was one of the concerns that they brought mm -hmm. to us when we visited the Night Owl back in what? seemed like six years ago, but it was really March. <laughs> was March? <laughs> yeah, I think it was, it was very early uh, spring. Parking? Yes, yeah, parking. They, they came in front of us, didn't they? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, we, I, I think, we, yeah, it came because we visited them. We, we did talk to them one-on-one -on -one in a non-formal yeah. setting, but yeah, that was that was a big concern. So I've, I'm working with them on that and <clears throat> uh, through the Main Street, and we do have the funds to do it. We've approved the funds. I just need to figure out how to get one there. <laughs> yeah, so let me just echo what you said about Adam. Yeah. We, we were having concurrent conversations, yes. and Adam then loop me in that you were also yes. talking about it so it quickly became about ADA compliance right um, yeah. not about funding not about anything else right. and it actually just just for the record is the reason why originally there was no bench place there right. so we we're able to trace that back so finally figured to that out. Being the reason. that's why and Adam Adam went down there on his like himself and, and did the measurements and let me know and then let you know he actually chalked out a spot yeah. so I have to go wow. see it tomorrow where one maybe could go of a certain size mm -hmm. and depth so I've got to, but we also want it to look much like the existing ones, not totally different. So uh, we'll um, see. I'm no. working on it, and I don't want to take up. Yeah, he initially time. said it could be tucked possibly into the corner, but would have mm -hmm. to be brought, brought in, in. Yeah. in the winter, like it couldn't stay there for the winter right. time. But I guess things have changed since then. So um, well, I, I, I have a feeling getting something, if we can get something light enough, mm -hmm. that they could bring in each night. I, I, I'm going to go talk with them about it. Because now that I've got the financial approval, we'll just try and make something happen. Sounds good. I'm awesome. wondering as far as parking goes, like now we have two tenants in the uh, 41 Main Street, which is the former Cumberland mm -hmm. Farms mm -hmm. building. And the owner of that building at first was very, he didn't want to have anything to do with the town as far as like he didn't want he didn't want to cause any commotion, you know, when he went in there because of the restrictions that were in mm -hmm. place as far as the lot size, it was tiny and the parking lot was small. He just wanted to, to rent to people or to types of businesses that were, were um, quiet, mm -hmm. you know, didn't have a lot of people involved, mm -hmm. and that was his goal. So he's rented the space out now to State Farm and the auction mm -hmm. offices. Mm -hmm. So. There's really no one there in the evening, mm -hmm. which is when lots of their classes right. are scheduled, and people probably don't want to walk as far in the evening, mm -hmm. especially mm -hmm. in the winter. Mm -hmm. So I'm wondering if it's possible if we try and talk to the owner again and see if he might be agreeable mm -hmm. to mm -hmm. maybe letting some people park great. there. I don't know as far as his insurance goes and things like that, he might be concerned, but 
If you share his contact information with me, I'll reach out to him. Okay, sure. Yeah, I would say if oh, each of those so businesses much. we get a right or two um, for an insurance yeah. policy, that would probably cover that. Cover it. Yeah, if there was only right. an insurance company right there, we could talk to him. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> right. And the other thing, too, with that is um, we probably should talk to the tenants also. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, sure. But um, start with the owner. Mm. I think it's a start anyway. Because mm -hmm. I know what you mean. My, my granddaughter took a class there, and like you know, she's capable of carrying a sewing machine. But you know, if, if it's something, well, some of the people have rolling carts, mm -hmm. and they oh, put absolutely, them in there, and the machines can be heavy. If the uh, oh, sorry, uh, if if the tenants say, yeah, that's I think that's fine, and we go to the owner and let him know that. That you've talked yeah, to Yeah, I think you're right. I think it's better to go to him and say, hey, we've already talked to the tenants and right. did some legwork. That's a good point, Bonnie. Yeah. We'll do that first. Okay. Especially in awesome. the evening when <clears throat> the other businesses aren't open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you want the contact info for the tenants as well? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you for doing that, Chad. Of course. We have a huge help. Absolutely. I, I think so. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't want to carry a sewing machine bar. And they're going to have children <laughs> there taking <laughs> classes <laughs> also <laughs> over the holiday. <laughs> Oh yeah, yes. kids they, classes. Uh, every so, yeah. so often they do kids win. classes on Saturdays. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes it's on Saturday. Sometimes it's in the early evening. Over the holiday, it's going to be during the week. Yeah. And sometimes it's right after school. It kind mm -hmm. of depends. Mm -hmm. I think she only did one, but um, she was better than me. I, I was like, I can't sew so for the life of me. <laughs> <laughs> she used a That's machine funny. that I bought and I never used, so <laughs> came in handy. All right. Um, Thank you. Okay, so the business and retention. I put that on here because now that things are picking up and getting busier, um, I thought we may want to touch base again with UNH and, and probably not do something for this year. But Eric, uh, Derek, I keep getting everybody's name mixed up. Derek had reminded me, and as I had told you about the budget meetings, that if if we keep having money left over, that it's the budget committee is going to start questioning what are we doing, you know. Right. So, we right now we have approximately eighteen hundred dollars, which we still need to do the printing of the bingo cards and the gift certificates. So, you know, we won't use all of it, but we'll use a good portion of it for that. Um, but if we were to um, so the money that we initially had for the 2500 that was encumbered, um, I spoke with Danielle the other day and she said that money has since gone back into the general fund because you can only encumber for so many years and that money actually came from 2019. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking if you wanted to have this as a 2022 project, we um, unfortunately... Uh, what was his name from UNH? I can't think of his first name. But he was really great to work with, but he's moved on. Mm -hmm. So um, I could contact them and see, you know, if maybe somebody could come in and speak with us about it and have what their ideas might be and then get another price looking into for next year. Daryl Corvell. Is it Daryl Corvell? No, it was Steven. Steven, it was yeah. Steven. Yeah. 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 Who's Daryl? Um, Daryl must be like the new guy. No, this is old information. Oh, Daryl must have been someone in charge of the extension okay. office. So if we have eighteen hundred left over, going back to the budget, why don't we just put it entirely towards the, the just the Christmas or the, the, uh, the gift cards? The gift cards and, and the, yeah. Yeah. We, what happened last year was um, we. We extended, so midway through the program, we wound up extending it, and mm -hmm. so we used more money than we had initially anticipated for the gift cards, because we did $25 gift cards. Yeah. We handed out quite a few. I, I could bring you the numbers for the next time, but, Great. Yeah. Um, but you know, that's certainly doable. Yeah. It, it's, it's all a matter of, you know, getting the people interested in participating. Yeah. And you can carry the gift cards over to the next year. Because what we did was, mm -hmm. instead of wasting right. the money in gift cards that maybe would not be used, we each time uh, someone won, they got to choose what mm -hmm. they, I gave them like five choices, and they yeah. got to choose which one they wanted. 
and then Derek would go out and purchase the gift cards. So we weren't left with anything. We actually had nothing in hand in the office to deal with at the end. Um, so it made it easier, and this way we didn't waste any money. Mm -hmm. So I guess that kind of segues right into the uh, bingo game participants, right? So I was trying to, this is the old bingo card. I spoke with the printer and she said, you know, she has availability to do this again. The good part about using brown graphics was she's actually a print setter and she set the whole thing up from the draft that we gave her and mm -hmm. she didn't charge us anything for that. Um, however, I was trying to rack my brains out trying to come up with businesses that are not restaurants that are locally owned or, you know, not a chain, basically. Mm -hmm. So I'm missing some. If anyone has any ideas, if you look at the last page. How about Level but, Up Gaming? Yeah. What is it? Level Up Gaming. Level Up Gaming. Isn't there a tattoo <coughs> place? Oh, yeah, the other. Tattoo Slots place. Lots of fun. That's good. I there. have that's there. Where is Level you Up see? Gaming? Uh, that's in the, the next closet page. right next to um, the, oh, the, next the page. Uban Thai to go. Oh, okay. Okay. keep going. Yeah. Okay. One more page. Tattoo. Those are the ones she, right there. Those are oh. the ones she has. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. That we could go to. So we have the tattoo, we have the uh, slot car. Slot car There's also an antique uh, gaming, like um, toys. Remember that place? That, yes. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, it's right next to um, the Thirst, um, gosh, the Blue Moose. Mm -hmm. On that, yeah. It's right I can't, on the corner. Yeah, it's right on the corner. I can't think of the name. How about the dry cleaner? Finder Seekers. Finder Finder Seekers. Seekers. Yeah. Yes. How about the dry cleaners? Vito's. Oh, yeah. I it's put Vito's on there. Ray's Pizza? Where? Did it's, I just miss it? Number 13. Oh, there he is. I'm sorry. Ray's Pizza's food. Oh, yeah. what, about, <laughs> what about that? Is that car wash locally owned that's down? It Sunoco? is, but there's never anyone there manning it to actually stamp it. I was thinking of them, but wasn't sure. I bet the girls that work there don't have. The what? The, oh, which which one are you talking about? The one uh, down, yeah. Well, yeah, Sunoco's going down there the station. by um, by the gas station, going right. down by uh, oh. like White Birch and. Oh yeah. Yeah, that one. It, okay. There's no one man no one there. There's the salon, the nail hair and nail salon to say, so next salons. to Finder Seekers. I don't remember what it's called. The barber shop that's right. Uh, oh, right over that, here. It's a lash something. Yeah, we lashes. also have Hebert's insurance. Is it Marilyn Hebert still insurance person still there in, in Bernardville? I don't know if you'd want to do an insurance company because that's like, that's really geared towards. Well, they might buy insurance. Yeah, yeah, it's sure. like, they might buy you know, insurance. it's not like you go right. in there every day. Yeah, no, it's true. Um, we got tonic, we got, that's around the corner here. I have both barber shops. Mm -hmm. So you have the other landscape, what is it, pro landscape? Pro landscape. That's, that's a good place. Yeah, that's a yeah. good place, yeah. Is that yoga place by TV Bank still there? Yes, Mountain Base Yoga. Mountain, yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah, the... the oh, not that one. No, the yoga no, on Church Street. Street. Church. On the Church one on Church Street. Street. Okay, well, that still counts, right? Yeah, that other one closed down a while ago. Okay. Yeah, that's, and that's a pretty... How many did we just add? Like eight? Something like that. We, we eight, um, have eight? 22 now. Oh, we have 22. So the card holds 25, but you probably should keep that center. Um, yeah, there's, a cabinet, there's a cabinet tree business along with um, the, the nail cabinet. salon and the, I know what you mean. Uh, yeah. lots of fun in there. There's a cabinet. In that plaza. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the, the, there's a place, the pool place that sells pellets. People might buy pellets. Oh, yeah. the, yeah. yeah. That was Namco, right? We got yeah. Namco. Yeah. If we're going yeah, you're thinking Empire. No, no blue, Empire. Blue Dolphin. No, it's the Blue Dolphin? No. Blue Dolphin. No, 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 no it's called Empire. If we're the doing Empire. Fun City, there's there's businesses in there. I mean, yeah, well, they're for non chain and non restaurant. Right. Mm -hmm. Empire is not a chain. They're the pool place, mm -hmm. and they have spas out in front. They're down, so just not down dominoes. from the right. Shaking Crab. Empire? Yeah. I think it's called Empire, right? right. In the plaza, it's new. They're not no, a chain. No, no, no. They're right. Yeah, oh, on, yeah, on Mass Road. Mass Road, Mass Road. Mass Road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the yeah. big hot tub outside. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I think that's Empire. Yeah. Is Jake's bike still in town? Yeah, that's actually at the corner, right near. Um, that's true. You want to I don't know if that's that? Goffstown though, or Manchester. It's 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 like right across the street from Charlie's and where around the bowling alley is. That's Goffstown. That's Goffstown. That's still Goffstown. Yeah. Okay. Sully's do doesn't. 
That's you don't go in there to eat shame. like a restaurant. Sully's is a chain. Yeah, it's got, they have, um, they got a, a lot of couple stores. Have three or four. They got three or four oh, stores. Oh, okay. But it's owned but by they, a larger company. Is the it laundromat? It? No, Sully's. Um, no. So I have twenty five now. Okay. Perfect. That's good. So what I'll do is um, do we need for the end of the one? week. Hmm? Do we need a bounce one for the free space though? We do, but some may not want to participate. Right. Uh, oh, I see what you're saying. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll make sure you know who does and who doesn't, and then um, we can print up the new card, and, free uh, and then mm -hmm. we'll need to distribute them like we did the last time. There now, are we doing gift cer gift certificates to restaurants? To the this restaurants, time? yeah. Mm -hmm. At the same time, Mountain View Partnership is doing. Raffles, it's starting up shortly. They're doing raffles, and the raffle, the people who win the raffles will win a gift certificate to $100 gift certificate. I can't even talk. To what? To the restaurants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's certain restaurants on there. I, I haven't uh, read the whole thing, but I saw it online. How's your um, hand? I know, huh? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Did your computer die? No. Did you show it? I forgot my mouse and I can't. Oh, the trackpad and stuff? Yeah, and Jeremy tried to get it going for me and it, and it still didn't work. So. Hey. Are you writing in English or shorthand? Just fast. Just fast. <laughs> <laughs> a little help. Not shorthand. Thanks for taking a look, Jeremy. Oh, it doesn't have the, the mouse down here, huh? Oh, it does, but it can't get it working. Oh. There are a bunch of car repair or uh, like over by Pro on the other side of the street. Yeah, um, yeah there's I, several. Some of them are There's several used along cars. there. Yeah. Right, yeah. but there's, I don't know their names, but um, there's some auto repair, truck repair places right across the street uh, if we needed more. Right. Yeah, okay. Is there anything you want to change about the way we did it? No, I think it went really well. Yeah, well, yeah. well. If you want to let WMER know, we're doing it again. Yeah, or yeah. Do some, we'll, uh, we'll do some PR. Uh, yeah, PR would be good. Just don't want to lose any of our big good budget. Yeah. Okay. You think, well, it was free. It wasn't paid for the. Uh, no, pay we, PR, we right? didn't pay for any of that. Oh, okay, the only thing we paid for was the printing, the paper, mm -hmm. um, the stamps. What it, what's the cost approximately for those? Items? I want to say the whole thing cost. The, I know the printing was like roughly. Three something like maybe three seventy five or something like that. Well. The paper just um, got eaten up in the budget line, um, and the stamps were you know twelve dollars or something. I'm just like thinking that. of the eighteen hundred dollars we have left. It was the gift see certificates it. that yeah. added up. You know the twenty five dollars. We might be making money if we do the new business. Thing. Maybe. But I, is the sucks about jobs there? Yeah, if we do the new business. Oh, I yeah, don't know if we're allowed to. Yeah, yeah. 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 So, um, you know, that's, so I'll just go from there. And when I need your help to distribute them, I'll let you know. Great. All right. So the brewery tells me they'll be opening in another week or so, the one in Bernardville. Um, the car Where's that going? In the old Shaw's Plaza. Which, yeah, which uh, I know the there's a new bistro, Asian bistro. Yeah, that's in the corner. That's the other going, bistro, yeah. well, I haven't heard from them officially, but I've heard that they're going to the corner. Okay. Here. Right, right. Um, I, I told them that they needed to speak with fire and, and uh, buildings, so yeah. they may have done that. Um, some people just think they can just, like, move in. <laughs> it's like, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, there's a person who's interested in a building in Pinardville um, as a florist. Like the, it, actually, they're moving from Manchester. It's an established business. Um, right next to Paris Auto Body, there's a vacant hmm. building there. Um, the, there's a spa that just opened on next to the fire station. There, it used to be Liberty Press, which mm -hmm. is printing. Mm -hmm. um, so they're renting out the residential section, which is the house. And then attached to the house was the printing business. Mm -hmm. So it's now a spa. They do massages and facials mm -hmm. and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
Um, Are they on the bingo card? <laughs> no, but actually I should add them. Yeah, I think that's a good idea, Jonathan. Kink my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, we're, we're just talking about business retention and expansion. Uh, I think we have a couple of storefronts right here in the village that have that are empty. What could we do to help bring people in for that? For any in Bernardville or Village, I, I just thought I think one of the ones that got shuffled over where Cumberland used to be. There's a vacancy in there, isn't there? Mm -hmm. House or something? House Pharmacy has already been bought by the um, accountant. Right okay, next so to then where he is now, that'll He's be vacant. He's planning to move in, and he. There's already something in the works to go into his okay. place, so okay. that's already been taken I, care I, of. I, I've been trying to figure out what does a group do, whether it's this group or any other group, to foster new businesses coming in mm -hmm. to any part of our town. Um, this, what's needed to be there? What do we need to do? The business that Chet mentioned before next to TD Bank, I believe that is still vacant, but it seems like they're using it for, for something, something because there's things in the window so you can't see in and not really sure what's, what's happening over there, yeah. but uh -huh. um, it's definitely not vacant. Another place to advertise the bingo thing could be the business connection. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, certainly DTV, I found out a lot of people watch that. <laughs> well, they tune in to see you in the school board. They, <laughs> I found out a lot of people <laughs> watch it. <laughs> um, um, that's a good place to advertise its uh, business connection. The car wash that was approved recently on Mass Road, just a little bit north of the um, Irving Station on mm -hmm. the opposite side of the street. Um, they are clearing trees right now and will begin construction in another three weeks. Wow. Um, and, and right next to that there's two lots Ne uh, on either side and one there's a fella who currently stores trailers in um, kind of North Mass Road before the circle by the high school mm -hmm. uh, there's trailers like lined up he's planning to go into this other place and eventually build a building and have you know an actual besides mm -hmm. just storage have so his business. current place will be vacant um, no, there, he was just leasing that parking lot. There's actually a business in there now, or there's been for a long time. And um, the other side, we just had a meeting with some folks yesterday. They're looking at, uh, I don't even know what to call it. It's a, it's, a, it, it's a place where you would go. It would be an indoor site, and you would store your sort of antique cars, your valuable type cars mm -hmm. in this building and there would be a 60s style restaurant and um, shopping area for car parts and things. And it, it, There's several phases to it so he's looking at, um, at doing this. And mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, that's cool. What is, what is at the circle there's a, uh, I see this little sign, Kristen's Angels. Have you seen that on the house? I, I, no. I, does anybody know what that is? I think there was a business in that house at one time, but it's, I think it says Kristen Angels. Where? Where? Um, at the the trap, the circle. If you you're coming around and you're heading back towards Manchester, it's like right over here. Oh, yeah, I have no idea what it is, but I see it every time. I'm it's on I, the I'm house curious. Itself. It's right on. Yeah, you can read it right from the oh. road. I'm always curious, and it's like a nice driveway and like parking, mm -hmm. so I wasn't sure. Well, that's you're talking about the Gallery of Frames house. Oh, is that Probably, what you're yes. talking about? Yeah. Oh, okay. yeah, I, I don't know what Kristen's Angels is, yeah. what, what she has going on with that, but I but that building is the Gallery of Frames store. She's she's in business. She does very very nice work with custom framing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there you go. All right, add that. <laughs> Thank you. That's all I have. Okay. Um, new business, the Business Expo job there? Um, Ellen yeah. wanted to talk uh, about well, that. Well, this came up a, a couple months ago, I think, at one of our meetings. Um, and another group was thinking that they might do it, but I know they're not going to. Um, I don't know if a, a group like this, which is a government subcommittee kind of thing, is able to raise funds doing something like this. 
but doing a, a Goffstown Business Expo, I say slash job fair because everybody's looking for people to work, especially nowadays, if that's something we might want to start considering again, because uh, as far as I know for a fact the Lions aren't doing it. Uh, I know for a fact this other group is not going to do it. Where is it being held? At the high school. It was at the high school. Well, wouldn't that be something that if there's going to be businesses there that it might be good for, are they going to be local businesses or Whatever businesses from decide. outside? I mean, I'm just wondering if it would be a good place to actually for us to maybe recruit some businesses to town. I, mean, I don't know. If we do it, I mean, we're planning a, it's a significant event. I mean, it takes a lot of planning, a lot of advertising, a lot of organizing, but um, I know it would also generate some revenue if we're allowed to do that for for our committee, I don't know if we are. I don't know, could we generate revenue as a committee as opposed to just to... Here's what I've learned. Is <laughs> 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 that so many things sound like a great idea and then I'll talk to Joanne, Joanne will go to Derek and it's no one's fault. It's just mm -hmm. there are of rules course. in place that I've never heard of. So I do think it's worth taking a look at. Um, but, you know, getting a bench has been quite a project. <laughs> so I'm thinking it's not about, done yet. <laughs> so, and I'm not so saying, I'm not saying we don't look into this. I'm saying we look into it with, with uh, you know. Trepidation. Trepidation. <laughs> just some realism around it that I, I can't imagine it would be okay for us to raise funds for, for ourselves. Community. Unless there was a way that we could prove. And I don't even know if we could do this. Unless there was a way to prove that's being yeah, recycled right back into. Oh, for a specific purpose. Right. So we had. So I'd have to ask. As an example, like the mm -hmm. library has a book fair, mm -hmm. but it's actually done by friends of the library. Right, right. Or Parks and it's Rec a super will have a <laughs> ski and skate sale, but it's done by done friends by some, of the yeah. Parks. Yeah. I'm just thinking a job fair or business uh, I, that we would have a booth there. I'm mm -hmm. not thinking. Yeah, I'm not thinking that we would plan it, See, but I would say have a booth that would yeah. be able to explain what Goffstown. So this is, I think, something that maybe St. E's could do with their career centers and like setting up graduates to do that. So like that's something mm -hmm. that their expertise is in, and maybe that if they were going to champion an event like that, then that's something that they could do. But I don't think we have the. Uh, we have okay. Yeah. That's where oh, the God, question no. was. No. Oh, so you want us to run the event, maybe? Organize it, set it up. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. I'm just saying, get a booth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in so the booth. You want to set up a subcommittee and share <laughs> right, that? Yeah, a yeah, sub -sub yeah. <laughs> the Lions Club used to do one oh, like, yeah. every okay. year for a while. And for a while. Every yeah. other year. Right. ABC was there with the booth, like you yeah. That's where yeah. you got recruited. But then they stopped. That's I think you're right. <laughs> By Charlie, right? Charlie. Yeah, yeah, you are correct. Actually, I always just stopped at the EDC's booth to find out what was going on. I think I got recruited there, too, actually. Well, was it Tim? Was it Tim? I was there. I know you're right. I think it was Tim. Tim. I was already there for like a week, maybe. It wasn't a long time, but Tim walked in and we recruited him. That's yeah. funny. Yeah. So I, I remember that. I think that's something that we have the bandwidth as a committee okay. to. Yeah, no. to okay. I would say maybe if if somebody's going to do it, it'd be a club or a college or something like that. With they have that's what they're solely mm -hmm. dedicated mm -hmm. to do. That might be good for San A's to do something like that. Right. I and even you know, Chad and I, when we were hall directors at UNH, putting out even a pancake social. Was a lift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of work. It was it is a lift, lot of work. So, yeah. and you should see Chet sling pancakes. It's not. <laughs> this is that is just a, that's just as involved as doing a craft yeah. fair. I mean, yeah. it's a lot. It's a you lot. need a lot of people. You need okay. a lot of people. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking. Let's do a booth. <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Let's somehow do it. We'll do a booth. A table, we'll a booth. A table yeah. with an apron. Right. Like right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. I just wanted to bring it up because it came up before. Yeah. Perfect. It's always good to bring it up. Yeah. Mr. Chair, can I can I possibly make some food for thought remarks for next time? Absolutely. Okay. So I'm looking at how we're going to spend our money. I think the budget committee is absolutely uh, correct in looking at the fact that if we're not spending money, we shouldn't have it. Um, so what I'd like to look at is things like the uh, UNH Cooperative. I think we had Joanne tried uh, with another group a while ago. I don't want to name them, but another group a while ago who were going to do something along the lines of a drone. I, I don't remember exactly what it was, but something that was going to help our local businesses. Oh, and, a private mm, company. Right. Yeah. And with respect to the fact that we're all volunteers, I do think it will be essential because we have, unfortunately, I don't want to use the word failed, but we have lost sight of the goal every time when we use an outside source. And I think it's because we don't have someone on this committee driving in between. And Joanne, that is not a shot at you because you have a big job. Mm -hmm. Joanne does two full-time jobs in one. So mm -hmm. I want to be clear on that. I think in this room, when we look at any 
outside source that we're going to spend some money on to make it worth our time, we uh, take a look at it and find someone to be a liaison or a driver uh, each time going forward. Because I think if you, John, are there checking in with them, or no, mm -hmm. I'm not saying you have to do it, but whoever it is is checking in with them in between and saying, yeah, hey, link. where there's are you at? We're coming in with updates, agenda items, and actual progress reported. And then if the progress, if there is no progress, we start to ask questions and figure that out. I think that that's, that would be an essential piece of spending money on any sort of outside source. Because I still think the sector by sector approach is a good approach. Where we could spend some of our money on businesses in certain sectors with a transparent schedule that says to other businesses, we're going to spend a thousand on you in the next three months. We're going to help advertise for you. We're going to help do A, B, and C. So if we use an outside source to assist with that, I would just want to have someone on this committee helping drive the process. I think that's where we've gone wrong. I, I mean, your thoughts are welcome. I'm just want, I think that's what's happening. Yeah, yeah. I, I have to say, Chet, I, you, you just took the right out of my brain ah. because <laughs> I've been thinking about that because we haven't been able to do what our committee is supposed to do. And that's not your fault. And that's nobody's fault because we're all volunteers. I totally agree with that. And maybe cooperative ex extension, like you said, maybe St. A's, mm -hmm. a student from there that might want to do some kind of an internship. Mm -hmm. If we could provide an internship and it could be paid, whatever. But I, I think that's a fabulous idea. I love that. You give them a framework of yes. what to do and yes. the information let them take and, it. And help Joanne, work, work with Joanne to, to get what we need to have done. Would you like to uh, invite someone in from the UNH Cooperative Extension to, now that uh, Stephen is gone, to sort of just have a chat with them and see what yeah. they can offer? I think, but, but I would like to switch the dialogue from mm -hmm. they tell us what they're going to do to us tell, tell them, them what we need. What we need, right. Because I think that's where we found confusion. Yep. Then yep. it puts who, whoever the designee is on this board mm -hmm. yeah. in place to work with them, and they know I'm going to go to Bonnie or whoever mm -hmm. yeah. to continue this process process for month to month, and then report out. That's awesome. So, I think that's absolutely perfect. awesome. Give them a charge, for, or for lack of another term, a framework within which time frame or whatever. Mm -hmm. Set them and say, "This is what you need to accomplish." Go for it. We give them the goals, and they act as consultants for us. What do we need to do, Chet, though, for the budget so that we don't get it cut now? Is there something we need to do as a committee to make sure that they don't cut our budget, number one? Well, I know. I know. Spend it. No, I agree with that. And yeah, yeah. that's oh, why I've been saying yeah. $1,800. What are we going to do with well, that? That's, that's I don't want to give it back. You have to say redirect it to gift cards and stuff right. like that. And printing and right. I want to redirect it. Maybe that. a card stock. We just spent it. <laughs> right. We just spent it on the budget yet. So that we're still in those deliberations next Monday, okay. we, we finalize oh, okay. And that was going to be my question, when does that get final? Next week. Next week. No one has brought into me, was there, I looked at it, I didn't see that it was it was cut. Did you okay. see that that number was cut? N not yet, no. Okay. Derek wanted put in to money? cut it but when he was preparing the budget, and I said, I don't think that the board will be very happy about that. No, Can we ask him for more? So <laughs> he left it alone, <laughs> but yeah. with the understanding that it would be you know, spent I next agree. year, it, you don't have a lot of money left over. Right. And had we not given the 2500 to the bridge committee, we would have had, you know, a lot more than we do. Right. So we need to appropriate it and make sure that we have a plan for it. And I still go back to that sector by sector approach, yes. utilizing cooperative or whoever we need to. But we are saying to them, this is what we want you to do. Can you do it? Yes or no? If so, we can provide you with some funding, and your designee is Ellen or Greg or whoever. That there's, you our, there's our use of the funds. It, yeah. well, what right what do we want them to do? Like, what are, our, what are your thoughts? Right. Exactly. So, what do we want them to do? Sure. When we go to businesses, um, we went in March, it was, wait, you guys exist? So what do you yeah. do? Right. Us? Right. We get the question all the time, what do you do for us? And I think that's an incredibly fair question for the businesses to ask. Historically, what's happened was, um, I'll just go back to what Joanne did once. She brought in, um, I think you brought in, a list of this we could advertise on behalf of these companies and the right. answer was no because we can't advertise for these companies which I think was a fair argument but not advertise for these right so we sort of handcuffed ourselves to doing absolutely mm -hmm. nothing because we can't we don't want to show favoritism so the idea would be sector by sector we go in we provide local advertising for them we help them set up a some sort of coffee social if they want to or um, some sort of event where they put a table outside in the front anything that draws 
eyeballs to them, and we would spend some money to help them if they need food or if they need you know, anything along those lines. That's where our budget could go. And I think 5000 is probably will turn out to be not enough, right? Mm -hmm. and, that, and that's a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's what I'm thinking. You probably have ideas about what would help certain businesses. Um, I'm an expert in human services. Uh, we have experts in other areas in this in this room that I think could really help us figure out what's the best thing to do for this type of business. If it's a a, a yoga business or if it's a car repair shop, car wash, those kinds of things. So we'd have to we'd be able to brainstorm, but then we could utilize a consultant that has time to really put some more effort into it with a designee from the board. Does that make sense? No, I got you. Well, here so we would be sense. going to the businesses to solicit their feedback on the things that they would need. Mm -hmm. And then from that information, then go to these groups. This is the charge and this is not. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Now, Chet, with the budget that we have, mm -hmm. is that going to be enough money, though, to have a person come in from the cooperative or someplace to do this yeah. work for us? If we're careful, if we if we plan it out correctly, like right now I've said in, in the course of a year we hit every sector. If we find out we're not going to have enough money for that, we can make a choice to go fine, we're going to spend $5,000 in this area this year, $5,000 in this next year, and if we can show the budget committee this is what we're doing, this is how we plan to spend mm -hmm. the money, mm -hmm. half of it, so 10000 5000 over the course of two years is going to go to this consultant that we've hired. The other 5000 is going to go to help the businesses with advertising or whatever event that they want to put on so that they have what they need. Like, either, that's, I'm oversimplifying it, but that no, would be good. No, it's good because no, no, it, no, it shows like good. a two or three year initiative yeah, yeah. And, a, and a rollout, so yeah. it would be a right. phase, phase, a pro, phase like in that, process. Yeah, that, and, yeah. and this, corp, what do we call it, a cooperative? The, it's just the UNH, UNH. I'm just using an example. They're, yeah. they're the, they're the, they would be the consultants. Yeah. The consultants, but it sounds like they'd also be the people going out. Yeah, they would, would be. It wouldn't be us, at, like as a working group. But there would be a point that. person from our. Oh, with them, working right. with them. Right. Okay. So we're driving the process to, to, to in, in, okay. for lack of a better, this is not the best word, but it's the best one I can think of. It's holding them accountable I in between it. months. Mm -hmm. I, I, and then reporting back to this group. Then. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and that's great. So where does that leave us? What do we have to do? So this memorandum of understanding that's in here, mm -hmm. does that tell what we want them to do? No, this was for the round table. This, this is for the round tables. Okay. Yeah. So can we can we write something up, have something written up okay. that tells them what we're looking for? What I think we would do, because again we're volunteers and I can't see anyone doing that. Yeah. But I'm just being realistic. No, 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 I but love it. What I think it, yeah. we do is Joanne's idea to bring them in. Yeah. Tell them what we would like, ask them to write up the memorandum of understanding for our review following that. And then we find yeah. a designee, figure out where we're gonna spend for money and go from there. Yeah, because their scope could be much Bigger, but you say it would, and they, it could be more expensive. Then we could just pare that down if we needed to. Yep. Yeah. So we would present to them our sector by sector approach. And do we have? Do we know what each sector is specifically? Not yet. So we need to create that. Yes. This this street, this address, this, this that kind of thing. It was in some embryonic stages in mm -hmm. 2018 or right. 19, maybe. Right. Yeah. Where we started to think about Pinarville and, and blocking right. certain spots off, coming yeah. back over to towards the village. So we can get back to that. Awesome. Cool. So do you want to try to see if they'll come for next month? I can if you want to. Yeah. Next month next is month. December. Yes. Sure is. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it hailed today. So, you know. It did? Yeah, in, in it did. I was up Were north in Meredith and it was oh. hailing for sure. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. I was in my car and Oops. snowed a little. So yeah. Uh, okay. It's coming. Mm -hmm. So we just said uh, what the monies will be spent on is this initiative mm -hmm. and the already existing initiative of the bingos bringing, supporting air, local businesses. Um, and we don't even know if the 5,000 will be enough if we, we, we get this to, going yeah. like, like right. gangbusters. Right, they have to be over the course of two years. So right. that's, yeah. the response well, is that's what we're using it for, am I 100%. correct? Yes. Okay. Excellent. All right. Jeremy, you're so him? quiet. Do you have any time? <laughs> no. He is very quiet. Both of them have been very quiet. Do we have a motion to adjourn since we're all being oh, quiet? Wait. Yeah. Um, okay. Anything? 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 I would make a motion to adjourn. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have a second? Second. Did right. anyone run out of these that they need more? I wish. Yeah, I, I, wish. I, I, I have less than I did, which is good. Oh, but I, what I, is I that? This is a, um, oh, yeah, a you little might. handout yeah. for businesses that you would visit just to advise them that there is an economic development committee and what we do and then
um, they can check this. But who, how do we know who already has one? We don't. we don't. But you can ask when you go in. Did you already get one of these? Yeah, just drop it off. Yeah, just yeah. drop it. Yeah. They might have stuck it out. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to, don't want to go into a business with two A lot of marketing is repetition. Um, so you just okay. go back in there again. Even though they're similar, you know, things, I, I don't want to yeah. confuse. Yeah, so I have to That's call the roll to, to finish. Motion, did we have a second of it? Hey, yeah, we had a second. Yeah, we had a second. So, Jeremy? Yes. Ellen? Yes. Jonathan? Yes. Chet? Yes. Joanne? Yes. Bonnie? Yes. I also motion to adjourn. And our next meeting Thank is you. the 1st of December.